Well, it was new within Coventry, or newish, um, and so that interested me in terms of this being something that was still in its early stages. Um, and I was interested to know how it might be relevant to the students who I teach. Now, because they are leadership and management students, it's quite important that they have a professional identity and so it looked as though it would lend itself to helping them to develop that um, by moving from being a student into being a professional in leadership and management. So it was a module that has been running for several years so the assessment needed to be adapted to be able to um, still meet the learning outcomes but through a different vehicle so rather than meeting them through a written essay we thought we would meet them by getting them to develop a blog or a website about themselves. So the learning outcomes for the module are about their um, leadership and management skills, about their decision making skills and so it provided a real opportunity for them to be able to consider that. So they were asked to do the assessment in two parts. The first part was to develop a blog or website about themselves and there were very few parameters put around that. So although I demonstrated what it might look like or what it could look like and some of the issues they might want to think about, it was entirely up to them whether they had one page, two pages, how they structured it, what headings they might use, what information about themselves they might share, whether they had photos on it. So that was those were all decisions that they had to make and then they were asked to produce a narrative about why they'd made the decisions that they had made so what had been the thoughts around that why had they finally come to that conclusion now in doing that because it's a leadership and management course they were also asked to link that in their narrative to some literature so they had to identify two pieces of literature about leadership and management that had influenced them during their course and to say how they had used that influence in their blog or website. Well, it was initially scary for them, um, with the exception of one or two who felt quite excited by it, but others felt that, especially as this is an assessed piece of work, um, that they wanted at the end of their three years to do something as simple as possible and this didn't really fit the bill. Um, but with the support that they had from DMLL through the workshops to develop the skills to be able to do that, um, they actually produced some really creative work. All of the students um, achieved at least as good a mark as they would normally have achieved. Most produced better work than that. They were reassured that it wasn't the blog itself that was being marked, it was the narration. So ultimately whether they made a decision to have something quite simple looking or uh, you know, very artistic didn't matter, that wouldn't uh, affect their mark. It was the content of the narrative in terms of how they'd made the decisions to present the information in the way that they had presented it. So in a sense the blog did matter because those decisions were linked to the end result but it wasn't being marked just in terms of looking at the blog and thinking oh that's very uh, technically um, uh, taken a lot of expertise and, and others haven't. So developing their digital skills was a key aspect of doing it and so they all did. I mean some found it easier than others but certainly what they produced at the end none of them would have said they could have done that at the beginning. So that was a steep learning curve for them, but a really successful one. I've included my, uh, increased my digital skills because I wouldn't have known how to use it either. Um, so that was, that was good. I learned a huge amount about the students by, by doing it. And I've been able to reflect on how I will do it differently with the coming group of students this year. Um, it worked, it worked very well. We got a great deal out of it but we could get more out of it and we will get more out of it by having much earlier dialogue about what they are going to put into their blog and much more open dialogue within the group so rather than it just be between them and me it will be between the group and me so they will share with each other a little bit more and we'll have more opportunities for conversations about some of those decisions that they're making because those were very revealing I'm sure that we only touched the tip of the iceberg in terms of what could be done. 
So this was my first year of using it as, as well as theirs. Um, and so we used WordPress, but we kept it fairly simple to make sure that they did achieve because it was an assessed piece of work. I think there's lots of other possibilities and potential within one's own domain to do a much wider reads of, of activities than, than we did. Um, so it would be interesting to find out more about the, p the potential of it that we didn't uh, really look at last year.